Welcome to WHS Advanced Training Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to get started using the WHS Advanced Starter Kit. When you first log into your system, the system will recognize you as an admin user. Therefore, open up the Quick Links page so you can see all the registers in the system. As mentioned before in the introduction tutorial, the idea is to populate these registers and relate them to individual sites. The employee can then obtain any information with one click via their site icon page. To make things easier for you to get started, we have developed a starter kit. The starter kit must be completed before using your system, as the 8 step process enters the fundamental basic information into your system. The 8 steps must be completed in the correct order, starting off with step 1, Sites. A site can be either a location or department, for example. If you are a multi-site facility, you can enter each individual site into your system. If you are one facility, you may have different departments, therefore you can enter the sites as departments in your company. Either way, sites entered here are crucial to the setup of your system, as everything will be related to these sites or departments. Step 2 is activities. And you might ask, what is an activity? Well, in the WHS Advanced System, an activity entered will be any activity that would need either a procedure or safe work method to undertake it. The best thing to do is identify all the activities that have either one of these documents or ask one of our highly trained consultants to help you identify the activities your company undertakes. Activities entered into the system will be related to a site. If the activity is undertaken at multiple sites, you can either enter the activity multiple times for each site or enter the activity once. As in the activity register, you can develop a procedure for the activity you have entered and copy that activity, therefore saving you from entering the procedure over and over again. See the tutorial how to develop a safe work method for more information. Enter all your activities and select next to move to the next step. Step 3 is positions. Enter positions of your company. You can also add inductions or training modules for this particular position. And in the next step, when we relate employees to a position, these inductions will be assigned to the employee. So a good idea before commencing this step is to do a training needs analysis to identify what positions will need to do what inductions and training. Enter all the positions and select next to move to the next step. Step 4 is employees. Enter your employees into the system making sure to relate them to a site or position. An employee can be related to more than one site by holding down the control button on your computer keyboard. Once completed, select the next button to move to the next step. Step 5 is chemicals. Enter the chemicals or hazardous substances that your company uses. You can also add the hazards relating to these chemicals by selecting the green plus sign. The same can be done for the control measures. You can also upload the material safety data sheet for this item into the system making sure to select the Material Safety Data Sheet Review Date. Enter all your chemicals and move to the next step. Step 6 is Plant and Equipment. 
plant and equipment entered into the system is the equipment that needs to show a history of maintenance. Work, health and safety laws state equipment must be maintained in a safe working order. By entering your plant and equipment into the system, you can develop a maintenance schedule. A good idea before you start this step is to identify all your plant and equipment's previous and next maintenance dates. Enter your plant and equipment, including maintenance dates, and then move to the next step. Step 7 is emergency procedures. Every site entered into the system will need some type of emergency procedures developed for them. Emergency procedures such as fire, bomb threats, storm and medical emergencies. And any specific emergency procedures depending on the type of business you undertake. You can add your own scenario to the system, develop a policy for the scenario and build a procedure using the system's procedure builder. Work your way through the three-step process of this section. The emergency procedure built will then be seen in the site's selected register. Enter all your emergency procedures and move to the last step in the starter kit. Step 8 is policies. Enter your company policies into the system. You can relate the policy to more than one site by holding down the control button on your keyboard. And this policy will be seen in that site's policy register. Throughout these eight steps, you were continually asked for a review date. This is to show continual improvement and a history of using the system, as the system keeps a log for every item in the program. You now have completed the starter kit and laid the foundations of your system. The next step is to watch the tutorial on the six steps to compliance.